Edo, we are live. Welcome to the No Chof Des podcast. It is a match review of Ammonia Nicosia, or Niscosia, as uh, our friend from uh, Nottingham said. Omnia Niscosia for Royal Antwerp 2. I know it's German, but their flag is similar to the German flag, just like that way. I'm Stel. As you can see, my handle is Adche Stel. Uh, I did a very nice piss before my videos. I hope you guys enjoyed that. I've got Roy and I've got DJ S T D S something <laughs> Michael. <laughs> Gobella, I promise you, I'm not going to be anything like the floor again. I'm more chilled. I'm calm. I haven't been smoking anything. I promise you. <laughs> but gentlemen, how are you guys feeling? How are you guys feeling? Um, feel it okay. Uh, I love your I'm wardrobes, gonna... by the way. Lovely color. Oh, thanks, man. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I'm, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the it's the flat I've renovated my house. Beautiful, man. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Um, okay, after the we qualified against Flora and we lost, I said that uh, sometimes we should uh, remove the result and try to be as balanced as possible when it comes to evaluating the game and seeing. Um, what we did right, what we did wrong. Obviously, today uh, we did many things very well. Some some mistakes, but uh, all in all, uh, I'm going to say something that uh, I told with my Gumbaro. My Gumbaro, Nick, we used to go to Omonia for many years, and then he stopped coming to the game and he texted me today. He told me, you know what, Re? And I get this Omonia, this Serena Simera. I'll do a game with Pelos Refile. And then when the game finished, he told me, this is Omonia. And this is the Omonia. It reminded me of, of Omonia from, from years ago. The DNA, the attacking mentality, the pressure, the uh, no, no fear. Okay, we, we conceded two, we scored four. But if I, ha if I had to choose how I like to see Omonia play, this is it. And this is what I've been saying for since we started doing the podcast. I love the clean sheets. I love the defensive mentality. I love it when we're playing compact. I love it when we're winning. I don't mind the ugly wins. I don't mind the professional wins. I don't mind grinding up victories. Today uh, was, I, I felt something I haven't felt in, in many, many months for me, the, the way I saw, but still, uh, I remain down to earth. It's it's not over. I agree 100% with what Mr. Berg said and Loizo. It's just the first half that finished. The team we played against has a lot of individual quality and we saw it, especially the first half. But they also have weaknesses and we should build on that. We should enjoy the night today. This, we deserve to enjoy uh, and be happy for the, for the great win that builds a lot of confidence and establishes us as an okay team in Europe, like in our early stages. Uh, but all in all, it was a very nice atmosphere in the stadium as well. The the new players helped. The uh, Bashiru was very good. Mix was great. Papu Lise, ev everyone, everyone deserves a Megalo Bravo in Brasil. I agree, right? And you know, um, you know, Chris and I were messaging each other during the game. Um, you know, and we, we had our own opinions. And to be honest, we, I think we agreed on, on a lot of things there, Chris. But the thing is, the, the, the one thing that stood out for me in this performance, and I said it in my Instagram video, was the intensity in the second half. The aggression. Um, something that we didn't see in the first half. And I think that's something that we're used to seeing with Omonia anyway. We're used to seeing a first half, perhaps not in second gear, but second half, we step it up when we need to. And uh, again, I'm going to reiterate what I said in, in our little govenda. Uh, Antwerp don't have a big team. And by that, I mean, a lot of their players are, they're nimble, low center of gravity. They're not, they don't have that physical upper body strength. I think maybe two or three of their players were six foot plus. But then when you look at our players in comparison, side by side, our players have got that physicality. And in the second half, that showed we really got at them. And it, it, it kind of mirrored it from the opening 
five, ten minutes of the second half when Gugu made it 2-1 and then Loizo scored that goal. We we just steamrolled them. What do you reckon? Yep. Agree. Agree. Just like we were saying by the messages, uh, good and bad. Few negatives, mostly positive from the point that we conceded to the time we scored. That was the only space that I can say I disliked the match. Bravo. The other Bravo. match, and I told you, they went in the game and they said, you know what? This is our game. We're going to play. We're going to attack. Ejumendus. This is, this is how they played. These are not going to do anyone. We're going to control the game. We're going to take the ball. That's what they did. That's why they got the goals. And that's why we got the win. That's how they played. And the like Roy said, they, re they reminded me of a team that I used to watch back when I was a kid. Dutkoshi Yadis, Dutkoshi Yashan. I was about six years old when I started. And Ben Nam Mesa, and they controlled everything. And those who didn't have a lot that I can say. Well, see, the thing is, I, I don't want to piss on the parade, but look, Antwerp, they've played, what, four or five league games. They haven't played in European games this season. So the level of uh, intensity wouldn't be as high uh, in the league as it would in, in, in Europe. And I think because they came to Cyprus, obviously the, the, the temperature played a big part. They were blowing out of their asses at the end of the first half. I don't know if you saw some of the players. They, were, they looked fucking completely lethargic. And... They needed half time before we equalized. They needed it because you can tell that the momentum was with us. Um, they weren't creating as many opportunities as they were early on in the game. Don't forget, they pinged the ball about very, very well. And what I noticed is when they got the ball in wide areas, they had three men in the box every time waiting for the ball to be delivered. And they weren't just three men just scattered around. They were all within the same vicinity. Do you get what I'm saying? In between uh, Lang and, and Bani Odini, <laughs> you know? Um, and... You know, we, we did well to to kind of counter that in the sense that when the ball was out wide, we went to a four four two. When the ball was in the middle, we went to a four three three. I think Mix was outstanding. I think Bashiru, who hasn't kicked the ball this season, immense, absolutely immense. I mean, people talk about the Claude Makelele role. This lad can do this. This lad can be the the ball winner, the water carrier, can distribute the ball. And I'll tell you something, Jordi Gomez tonight, stellar performance. Stellar yeah. performance because he's been getting so much shit from people in the past, especially in the Dinamo game. And actually, the first thing he wasn't great. Yeah, well, yeah, but you weren't, you weren't, you weren't. No, listen, no, 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 no. Not to the levels that I've seen on social media, Roy. You know, you 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 you, 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 you said it, but you said it in a way where you weren't besmirching the guy. Yeah, but today I think he only gave the ball away once in the second half. He yeah. dominated that that midfield, absolutely dominated. When Nine Galan came, who the fuck is this guy? Yeah, but you have to bear in mind that what I said to excuse him as well, to justify his performance, is that today you mentioned Bashiru before you mentioned uh, Jordi. And I think Bashiru um, took off a lot of weight off Jordi's shoulders because Jordi yep. had to do everything. And Mix was outstanding on the left-hand side. Bashiru was there. So that gave the space uh, and the energy to Jordi and the clear mind to, to create and use his experience and hold the ball. Like you said, I, I also was going to mention Jordi, but do you want to take it one, one thing at a time? Let's start with the starting 11. Uh, what do you think of the... Did you expect to see Bashiru and Papulis and uh, Marinos on, on the bench? But before that, give me 10 seconds. We'll go for an advert for, so I can get another beer. <laughs> no, you you go. I'll stop your camera for you. I'll stop your camera for you. I don't uh, be in there. Just give me five <laughs> seconds. <laughs> I don't even. I don't even remove him. I'm gonna have to remove him. There you go. I'll add him back in a minute. There, I'll add him I back in a minute. Him. But yeah, do you know what? It's he's yeah. You, you can tell he's um. He's, he, I, I don't think he's lost as many years of his life than he did in the, in the Flora game. Um. <laughs> but uh, yeah, listen. I, I don't know if I'm actually. Let me see if I can do this today. Hang about. Hold on a second. Share the screen. If I can share the screen, top ta. Hold on a second. I don't know if I can do it. One minute. This this is my inexperience of using StreamYard. So please forgive me for the, the foolishness that you may see at this moment in time. I'm going to try and uh, hold on a second. Right. Can you see this? Uh, yep. You can see this, yeah. Yep. So I, I want to talk about this this goal that they scored. Right. If I can the one bring it we're back talking here. about. 
the one that we were talking about. This ain't the, this ain't the one. This is when the goalkeeper saved it. Hang about. That's a shot that went right. Gupta. Right here. Yeah. Yeah. Right now, for me, I, I get really fucking pissed off when I see ball watching. It's just one of those things that you know. I haven't played football at a fucking high standard, okay? But when you look at the back line here, they're, they're absolutely fine. It's, there's no problems. The ball is on the halfway line. We've got two covering there. We've got three in the middle. And you're thinking, that's that's your protection. But yep. when the ball's played forward, look at this runner. He's made the run from the halfway line right so through easy. here. No one's picked him up. Shehu's all the way down here. Yep. Shehu's all the way down there. Look, just, just look at his run. Look at where he started his run. Hold on. Edon, yeah. here. No one picking him up. And the ball's yep. played through. I'm going to stop here. Edon, this guy's on his own. you got Yan mm -hmm. on him. I'm thinking, well, maybe that, that's, that's, that's Banayodos because you've got two guys here. Shehu isn't doing enough for me there. Lang should be covering. Should be covering. And this is the frustrating thing because, as you see, the ball's played in the box. They're all looking at the ball. Yep. Even Yan is looking at the ball. This guy's like, what the fuck is going on here? I'm, I'm, I've got it easy. And that's, that's it's a good finish. It's a good finish. But... I don't know, man. I it's just think we could have... It was extremely it was, it was too easy, easy to concede. It was too... It was... <clears> you <throat> could tell what they're going to do. One, two, and a few. It was... It was on there, man. That's why I got pissed with Shehu because he didn't track back. He mm. said the same thing. And he did it quite a few times. Quite a few times. The second goal yeah. also they scored. Yeah, he that's very right. very easily overpassed him. But anyway, we're not here to... No, of course not. But look, we, we can't we can't say it was a perfect. I mean, the first half performance it was good, and I think we allowed them to have the ball intentionally because okay, granted, when you don't have the ball and you're you're soaking up pressure and you're chasing men down, you're using a lot of energy. Yeah. But if you notice, we weren't aggressive in the press. We weren't, um, you know, we weren't chasing everything down in the first half. But second half, actually, we we equalized beforehand. But second half, we bullied them, right? It was, it was, it was, in, it was, how can I put it? It was like men against boys. And as I said before, they're a small team in terms of size. So they were there for the taking. Mix was getting stuck in. Fucking Bashiru was getting stuck in. Like it was, and then when the, when the lads came on, you know, when Zaharil came on, when Psakti came on, EI came on, EI was a battering ram, there. Right? Yep. You feeling better, Roy? Because I love Frost is right. I'm feeling better. I'm feeling better. I'm feeling We were talking about, I don't know if you saw, but we were talking about the first goal that we conceded and the, the amount of ball watching there was with, with uh, everyone, everyone in the team. I, I ba basically took me four seconds to get the beer, man. I was sending you messages. I'm oh, back. Sorry, I'm man. Back. I'm back. Sorry, because I was, I, was, I, was I was doing the uh, the screen share and I can't see both things. So, don't worry yeah. About it, man. Don't, yeah. yeah, I I agree. I agree. Um, okay, the first the first half, um, I think the first 10, 15 minutes, uh, we exchanged some messages with Chris as well, and uh, I thought that we tried to surprise them. We you could blatantly see that we were pushing up men for this. We didn't mention, but he was fucking immense. For this, uh, was one of the better games he played with the shirt of Omonia today. Mm. Not only that, not, not only his energy, uh, the way he was talking to the players, he was supporting the team. He, he held the ball, and uh, this is the for this we 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 want to see Steve Omonia. Mix was fucking from another planet. Bashibu hadn't played football in God knows how. Was on Jeron, Jim Big and Mesa, and he he was like swiping, cleaning up everything there. And like I said, it gave the space to to Jordi to to also be creative and, and attack. And um, but that lasted for about 10, 15 minutes. I think after they scored the goal, uh, we lost that, that our, our energy, our confidence, our concentration. And it seemed like it was going to be a very difficult night up until that moment. I thought that Loizo was struggling as well, and I was yeah. like, oh, you know what? Um, I'm not. I'm not sure if it's Loizo's night today. And uh, like you said, and I agree a hundred percent, that goal we scored uh, was very, very important because they they, they were begging. And I'm just doing my chronology. I'm probably wondering if they're not developing or if they're not. Prima de Josimichron, we got an early goal. 
it, it showed that they were in ex an inexperienced team. We seemed like the more experienced team out of the two today from the game. They were the ones making the the schoolboy mistakes. They were the ones, you know, even though they put quality and some very good players, individual players. Today we we were really, really good, man. Especially the second half, like you said, we steamrolled them. Uh, the Zahariu came on, Iyai came on, uh, Saltis went on the right back, and we saw Sheu come in in the middle of the park, and I think uh, he. It helped him more because I think in both goals, Sheu was a bit to blame as well, even though he, he gave it his all today. I don't think anyone uh, lacked um, today, like uh, the passion, the determination, the will, uh, going first on the ball. Nicolas was, uh, he, 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 you could see he, that he helped the team push up the way he was giving the balls. He made some mistakes, but all in all, you can't blame a 21-year-old kid who played like eight or ten games with the first team. He was absolutely nice. I, I, I take my my hat off to everyone today, Refile, and and, and you know we, we were saying against uh, Flora last time that okay, it was really nice to see Asimenos and Zefkis, and uh, I'd love to see them. Uh, you know, uh, play more more minutes in the future. But at this level, you looked at the bench and you had Iyayi, you had Marino, you had Dura. You, you you had options on the bench that came in. You had Zahariu, you had Salti, you had all the, you had Yuste that you didn't use. And all these players came in and they helped the team become better and better and better. Mm -hmm. So uh, what we said last time about having, you know, with the existing squad or with the players who were going to sign, we needed these players, and today it showed. And uh, I'm I'm very pleased. But like I said, we have to. Nothing's over. I still think it's 50-50 going to Belgium. It's 50-50 the game because they've got a lot of quality, but. On the other hand, I thought that their defense wasn't very good. And I'm pretty sure that if we if we are smart and we play our cards right, we could score a goal there and make it very difficult for them. Yeah, I, I agree. And do you know, when you, you're talking about their back line, I want to show you something right here, OK? Uh, let me ask you something. What happened next here in this passage of play? What happened next? Let me show you. What happened next? Dreamer? What is this a game? Yeah, I, you know, what happened next in this passage of play? What happened next? Right? Yes, Watch this. Yeah. Ball's played over the top. Oh, right? Yeah, Loiser chases. Passed. The goalkeeper yeah. picks it up. Yeah? What happens later on in the half? Yeah? Let me show you. Now we went through this. Go. Exactly the same sort of thing. Look where Loizo is and look where the fullback is. Exactly the same passage of play, looking for that ball in between the central defender and the fullback, and that's exactly what they were doing. That's exactly the reason why Loizo was was playing on that right hand side. I was saying, I was saying before, I don't know why he's playing on the right because it, he he was always looking to bring the ball in on on his left foot, and it's almost as if the fullback was reading it. But when I tell you, when I saw that goal, man, I was like, yeah. You know, I, I can't, I can't complain with with the boss man. I mean, Jesus Christ! And then the composure, the composure with the finish. You know, the the ball was fantastic from Gagul. He takes one touch and he thinks it over the keeper. There. I mean, this is this is the this is a finish that you'd expect from a 27, 28 year old. I mean, that, that's that's a ridiculous finish. Yeah. But what I want to talk about is this guy. Yeah, I want to talk about this guy, Mike Gagul, in the second half. Yeah, because his goal. As I was saying before in, the, in my in my Instagram video, let's, let's just sorry I'm fucking about here, boys. I don't I don't you know, I haven't obviously prepared for it, yeah. But look at where he starts his run, yeah. yeah. Look at where he starts his run. I think that's him. So that no, it's Gaggle there, there. You need a switch. He switches it across. They switch it across and they just crisscross each other. See, so Gaggle's down at the bottom. The fullback is looking at him. He's chasing him. He's chasing him, and he completely loses plot. And the finish, man. Look at that finish. That's top bins, man. <laughs> That's top bins. <laughs> top bins. That's a piss take, bruv. You know what I'm saying? Bins. And then, and then, 
And then, uh, listen, let me find this goal, man. I, I'm sorry I'm fucking about it. I'm not even going to apologise. I'm not even going to apologise for this. <laughs> I'm going to apologise for this. Come on. Roy, where were you sat, by the way? Fifth fifth row from the Steve Didigin, Pepti, Pepti Sira, Pepti Sira. So I was very, very close. Mm. If you did this goal, if you right. search the goal Loizzo scored, Against Paralimni, that's yes. a carbon co copy of that goal. Right? Yeah, exactly. Yep. I was just going to tell you that exactly to the point. Yeah, but do, do you know what makes this goal even special? Should I tell you why this goal is even more special? He's got two fullbacks. He's got a, he's got a left back and he's got a left winger there. And Shehu doesn't get any credit for this because look, look what he's done. He's pulled himself out wide. Yeah, so he's got the attention of the fullback. I mean, you probably can't see my mouse, so you can see the mouse. So he's got the attention of the fullback. So now it's effectively one on one, and this is what makes it even better. He brings it inside. This runner has taken this man out, so he's got the whole of the goal. To, this, is, this is phenomenal. This is, and this is exactly what you were saying, Roy, about the way that we're we're playing. Right, players are pulling players out of position. They're doing their job. It's all about the positional awareness. It's all about the tactical awareness. And fuck me, man! Like what a what a night. What a fucking night. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm done with my tactical analysis here. You lot can talk as much as you want. Eh? <laughs> it was a good night. <laughs> We're going to sleep well. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's... Uh, look, we, we can pick apart all the all the negatives. I, th I think Shehu didn't have a great game defensively. Um, I think the ball watching for the first goal... The second goal could have been avoided. I was thinking, why are we chasing a fourth? It's 3-1. Just sit back. But that being said, I mean, that's the only blot on the copybook. You know, Fabi didn't have much to do, especially second half. Um, I think there was one incident where Bana, Bana, Bana Yodl just like threw his body in the way, man. Mm. He threw his body in the way. To, and, and this is what you need. But like Lufner was doing that last season. Remember, Michael was yeah. chucking his body... All over the fucking place. It was, That's it was, what you it need. That's what you need. And I and I, I, I don't think Banayod is going to drop from the eleven. Personally, I don't think he will. I think he's going to stay in. I think if Bana, if Banayod and Hubo Cham play as a twin, because uh, also Lang doesn't seem to be on tip top shape. I don't know. He seems he seems to. It must have cost him. Uh, that he's not playing with Michael. He's yeah. Oh, I, I don't I don't know what it is, but I feel like Gini Fasi for for Parayodo Gamen to tackle and he threw his body. I think it was it was the moment I screamed on top of my my Harikato Parabano was a good goal because mm. I, I like I like that. I was like Bravo Reni Gola, I was just yeah. Bravo. Yeah. That's what you need. Yeah. It's clear. <laughs> But I, I think it's I think it's brilliant how you know and like I was saying in, in on my Instagram video earlier how and actually we're a little bit despondent because obviously Eric got the injury, Shepard got an injury, Dura got an injury, uh, Jan had had COVID, and you know, we're going into this game, and then all of a sudden we bring in two players, you know, and it, it gives everyone a lift. And uh, you know, Zahariu came on. He looked like he'd been at the club for four or five years, man. His confidence on and off the ball, the runs that he was making. I tell you, him and Sati on that right hand side, yeah, <laughs> they're they're going to be a problem, man. They're no going to be a problem. In. They're going to be a problem. And again, it goes back to what we were saying before, right? Long time with Mavrias and Eric, that relationship, full back and winger. We're going to smash teams this season, man. It ain't going to be funny. Yeah, it will be for us. Oh yeah, of course, <laughs> of course. You know, of course. But um, yeah, let's let's put some of these comments up because obviously these guys are contributing. It's absolutely fucking brilliant. They go, Loizo is getting the uh, is getting the plaudits. <laughs> is, is, is that humble? <laughs> <laughs> it might be. It might be, man. <laughs> it might be. Right. Let me need you. There, that's my fucking kumbaro. Eh? It's the guy I told you all my guys. <laughs> First half was Berg's strategy. Yep, exactly. Absolutely. Absolutely. Here we go. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Destaradio. Omonia needs a number 10. Well, no, we don't. We have Pablo Lee. Yeah. Well, but what do you guys make of EI, by the way? Because he did he did look like Bambi on ice at one point. When he, yeah. when he tried to... <laughs> 
pissed but, me um, off. He, he pissed he me looks off. Saying like, he looks up. Yeah, yeah really, he, the volley. He, he could have. No. He could have scored a hat trick. Yeah, yeah, he could, could have scored yeah. a hat trick today. Yeah. Yeah. But but when επειδή μου δεν γιατί πλάτουρε φίλε, μες το γήπεδο, και εγώ στην αρχή, οκ, ήταν μόλις εμπήκε μέσα, είχα σε την ευκαιρία, and you're thinking, οκ, maybe if he was, if he had like another 5-10 minutes, maybe he could have finished it a bit better. But then when he was holding the ball, and if you see the fucking defender who was the one who who threw him down, και κατ' είσαν το πέναρτη, έφυλε, He was just holding the ball. He, he seemed so cool. The penalty, yeah. uh, I, he, the confidence, he took the penalty. Uh, and he showed that with uh, Flora as well when he took the penalty. He was, very, I, I think time will work. He's, I, I see a lot of good things that he can offer to the game. He's, he, it's as if he's like a bit arrogant. He knows he's good. And and at one point he showed it, and it's good. Yeah. And it's good. It's, it goes back to what I said earlier that it's good to respect teams, but sometimes, you know, just if you disrespect them a little bit, doesn't matter. I mean, that's that's just calmness as well. He waits for the goalkeeper to move, mm. and and that's it. Like, inject it in my veins, mate. Inject it right there. <laughs> inject it right there, mate. <laughs> <laughs> but this, this is it, and you know what? It goes back to something that we we've been talking about for a while, right? And that's the team spirit players have come in and it hasn't left any it left it disjointed it hasn't you know caused uh, you know fractions in the uh, a fractious atmosphere they're getting on with it they're laughing they're joking around with each other and this is this is another important thing man when a new player comes in you obviously don't know what they're like you don't know what their attitudes like but um they've they've taken to the club straight away man you know especially uh, especially um Uh, EI, you, you could tell he absolutely loves it there. Yeah, uh, too bad. Also, I can say the first uh, game uh, against Dynamo when uh, Mix played, Mix stayed at the end of the game. Was just watching the fans, and he was like, "Seriously, we lost. We got we got disqualified, and the fans are here and uh, mm -hmm. chanting and they're singing." Even Bashiru, but. Everywhere, I feel it. Listen, when you're on the good side of the fans and the, the, the fans' judgment and criteria is 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 not wrong. Naxi, if the, if the fans applaud and they sing, it's because you've done something good. I'm not saying that everyone on the stands is going to be a manager or a proponitistis kerkidas pula gonna be in Dipro. Αλλά το κριτήριο του κόσμου εσπάνια λάθο, ρε φίλε. Δηλαδή, γύρω την ώρα που να χειροκροτήσει, που να χτιμήσει. Απλά εμεί σκεφτόμαστε long run. Δηλαδή, we are judging what we're seeing at the moment. We can't think we are as good as we are when we're playing the game. If next week we're not playing well, να ξαναγωθούν τα ίδια πράγματα. So, this is what I keep coming back to. We have to be balanced. We, we were the worst team last week and we're not the best team this week. But sure enough, it was an extra week, a team uh, with different characteristics to the ones we played up till now. We saw Dinamo lose 3-0 against Sheriff Tiraspol and it made mm -hmm. you wonder if we had the options we had today, if it would have been a bit different. But that's in the past. You can't like dwell in the past. It's only today. You can't see the future, so we have to be balanced and uh, stick behind the team. I think we do have uh, the, the, the quantity and the quality now. I mean, uh, thinking about it, Hugo wasn't playing, Chepa wasn't playing, Eric wasn't playing. You still wasn't playing. You still was on the bench. So now... Ernest. Uh, That's good though. But, that's, but, good. but that's but that's why we were affected last season when we were going through that bad patch because the depth wasn't there. It was game yeah. after game. And while yeah, there was rotation, it, it you, you could tell the, the quality was lacking a little bit. The quality to put away Baralini, to put away Voxa. You know, you still need that extra bit of quality. You can't take these teams for mugs because they come to you 
And they're going to sit back and say, come on, break us down. And while we've got players to do that, it's almost as if, you know, we were struggling to do that. But I can safely say, when we play Docs at home, we can make 11 changes. Because I could say Kiko's going to come in and left back and do a job. I could say that fucking Humbo is going to come in and do a job. Yep. Do you get what I'm saying? The strength in depth. And this this is going to separate us from the the the, the challengers to the everyone else, you know? But we can't be complacent. We can't no, be complacent, sure. man. That, that's, that's for sure. We're going to let that happen, that, though. We're going to let it happen. No fucking no, chance. Uh, but, but that's the thing, Rafi. We, we need to... It's going to be a very long season. Uh, okay. okay uh, we, we've got the game with uh, the second leg against that Antwerp in Belgium. If... The coach was clearly criticizing his defense, both in the as a team. They seem like a team breaking up with staff pressure in the first one. Of course, yeah. I agree. 100%. 100%. Stars. But don't, don't forget, Nangalan came on and he yeah. gave him that little bit of that little bit extra. When you've got a, a quality player like that on the team uh, with his experience, he's only been there a couple of days as well. He's the uh, same as. Um, Bashiru has hardly no. kicked the hasn't uh, one training session, if that. No. So you know, second half they'll they'll be up for it, man. They're, you know, they're not a they're not a pushover. They're not a pushover at all. And we saw with Flora how you can't take these teams lightly, can't take them lightly at all, and they will come at us. But if we play our game and we stay focused, and we're lucky with injuries and COVID, whatever. We'll, we'll get through to the, the, the group stage. But again, it's, it's difficult. It's a, still a difficult team, man. Still a difficult team. Yeah. Let me ask you guys one question. If, mm. if, we, if we disqualify Antwerp, we still have another one game to go to. Ah, happy with the lead sound. And excited for when I do the club. Yeah, so happy. No, but not Scala or Morfa. Αν περάσουμε από την Antwerp, έχουμε και άλλο παιχνίδι για να πάμε στο Europa, ναι. 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 Πάμε. Είσαι. Δηλαδή, περνούμε τους και πάει Europa. Ναι, ναι, ναι. Ναι, because uh, the, the Godes played tonight and they drew against Maccabi, wasn't it? Was it Maccabi? Or Hapoel? Yeah. Hapoel Bishaver, yeah. wasn't it? Hapoel. Yeah, yeah Bishaver. And then if they get through, they're in the, they're in the conference. Conference? Conference, I think. Yep. Ne, well, then... that... Olympiagos posa posa, by the way. Xeri Galenas, Olympiagos Pireos. Mm, let me find out. I need to speak to the boys from Gate 7, actually, because they're, they're doing their podcast as well. Olympiagos, 3-0 so far. Bravo. Bravo. 3-0 against Slovan Bratislava. Yeah. <laughs> but you worried about playing them in the group stages? <laughs> no, Olymp Olympiagos is my team. It's your team. It's, it's your team. team. Yeah. There we go. More comments. Adam Lang, he's making a lot of mistakes. Ah, come on, man. Like, uh, there's, there's always got to be someone. For fuck's sake. Here we go. This is what I like to hear. <laughs> yeah. Here we go. So there was the first time I was smiling while watching football. Oh, come on. You weren't smiling when we won the league there? Right? Come on. Here we go. You're this a great player, the best we have, but sometimes he has to play faster. Yeah, but th this is it. Because... And we've been saying this quite a bit. When when Jordi's on the ball, because they see him as our main man in the middle of the park, he's going to get pressed. Today, they weren't pressing our midfielders. They were pressing the central defenders. They were pressing Lang and uh, Banayodo. And they made a couple of mistakes. I don't know if you guys remember. They, they you know yeah. slipped on the ball a couple they of times. Did. They did. So, But again, we, we noticed that they were getting men forward and we were hitting balls over the top. And as we saw with Loizos' goal and the, the incident prior to that, that's that ball in between the centre back and the and the full back was 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 uh, impressive. But boys, who was your man of the match? Because I think Gugu was fantastic. I know you're going to say mix, which is understandable, but I think Gugu, in terms of his running off the ball, his movement, the maturity that he showed. As I said, with the goal, that's a goal that you see from a 28, 29 year old striker that the arching run, holding his line, you know, reading the line so he's not offside in the finish. Like the first half, the runs that he was making, um, dragging defenders out of position. For me, I wouldn't say he was by far and away the man of the match, but I think he was my my main guy. I love Gaku, man. 
could agree to. I think Gago Mix. Mix Mix was exciting me. Mm. Yeah. He was playing le- he's he's a CM and he was playing on the left. I was thinking, what is this guy doing? And she laughed us. And that be stiff to Simba. But every player for him was outstanding. Top performance, may have and but you gotta be happy. Four two. Φίλε, Εντάξει, πίσω από τσέπαζε ο Ντούρα, a lot of people ε, αφισβητούν τον, τον, τον Κάκου και ξεχνούμε ότι πριν αυτό χρόνια ο Κάκου ήταν πριν τον Λοίζο και πριν τον Μαρίνο. Άξι, μπορεί που το, ο Μαρίνος είχε κάποιες ευκαιρίες, αλλά τέλος πάντων η περσινή χρόνια ήταν καλή ο Κάκου και έβαλε, έβαλε τον κόλ που περάσαμε την περασμένη εβδομάδα και έβαλε τον κόλ σήμερα, εδώ και ασίστ. Yep. Και άξιζε το. Αλλά που για μένα και ρε φίλε, άμα σκεφτείς, ο Μπασχυρού χωρίς προπόνηση, εν πήγε μέσα, έκαμε να μπορούμε. Ο Μίξ, έκαμε να μπορούμε. Ο Παναγιώτου, με τα λάθη του μέσα σωστά του, ήταν πάλι ε, συγκλονιστικός. Ε, ο Λοίζος, που για πόλα λες, ε, προφ, καλούμε την πρώτη μας αλλαγή, έβαλε στον κόλ. Ο, πα, ο Παπουλής, τα 36 του εγούρα, παραπάνω από οποιοδήποτε, ας πούμε, και πιέζε, και θόρες τον πώς ανέβαζε, και, και τους παίχτες, και την ώρα που να φύγει ο Λοίζος, σε χειροκρότα, με μίλαν τους. Εγώ ακούω τους επειδή είναι τέτοια κοντά στο ίδιο, ρε φίλε. Και θόρουν τον Παπουλή, τα όσοι, ε, μίλαν. Ο Μπέρκ, για μένα, Έκαμε τις αλλαγές που πάντα ραλούσαμε στην κατάλληλη στιγμή, δεν περίμενε στο 87-88. Ήδε ότι χρειάζεται το 70 να βάλει θυκό, έβαλε θυκό, ύστερα έβαλε το σιόου στα χαφ, έβαλε το ψάρτι, έβαλε το ζαχαρίου. Δηλαδή, εγκέρδισε και ο Μπέρκ τον προπονητή του ιστοής κακέρα. Κατάλαβες, ο Μπέρκ, he was very active on the bench and την ώρα που έβαλε τους παίχτες μέσα σου. All in all, yes, but John Dura, on Dura when big and less he was for Lagalos, as Pum. Che, che, hero cross and don't cosmos, a tragus and don't mandu. To Tundura, Moris and big and less, I found a Zulon to even on Duris refile. Criazede, Criazede Piri is someone on low confidence. Let's see, Stefko, Catalavis told them body language. Criazede, John Dogundima, but on Gosmon, he needs it. Μπορεί να something that I absolutely love seeing, but can you think of the last time we actually smashed the team like that in the second half? Because the first half was, was much different to the second half. Can you remember the last time we actually smashed someone like that? Ripped them to uh, bits. Uh, one game comes in mind to me. Go on. The game against Salamina, Berg's first year. And I yes, remember okay. specifically the goal we scored. Mm-hmm. Those, mm-hmm. those mm-hmm. passes. Those passes. Yeah, that that yeah. is the type of football we saw today attacking. The dog, if he uh, do this, do that, it was insane. That's what it reminded me of. Because just like Roy says, yes, we want our clean sheets, but we want to be seeing more of the attacking football. That's what excites the fans. And Boris Nadoga missing here because you need the result. Mm. But yeah, that's what it reminded me of today. But see, that that, that second half shows that it sorry, should I say it proves 
that this team has the capability to do it because I've, I've spoken to a few people past few months and they're saying, oh, we don't have that in us anymore. We don't have it. This manager is very pragmatic. He plays a certain way and that's the way. No, tonight just showed that we have that in our locker. It just, we're just going to use it when we need to use it. Do you get what I'm saying? It's like the Power Rangers when they put their shit together and they're making that massive thing. That's, that's it. Tyrannosaurus, that kind of shit. So, um, yeah, that's 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 what it is, and I and I think that's shut up a lot of the doubters again. Forget winning the league because that should have done it anyway. But you know, can you imagine when was it? Eh, October, November. People were saying that Henningberg needs to go. <laughs> Henningberg needs to go. What, what what can I say, man? What can I say? But it's it's been another emotional night, a roller coaster of a night. I only had like one coffee throughout the game, as you can tell. I'm, I'm I'm nowhere near what I was the other week. But, um, yeah, any anything else you guys want to add before we wrap it up? If you look, it, like I told you, I want to I wanna try and keep the the podcast around 40 minutes, 45, so people can uh, watch. I'm just going to say one, one more thing, and it goes back to who was the MVP. Uh, you know that Club Bruges wanted to sign Loizo and we didn't agree on the money they were giving. Uh, there's another one team I know for sure that wants Loizo as well. After today, the Belgians yeah. are going to have to pay double what they, <laughs> what, what they were offering yeah. because yeah. All, all of Belgium was watching Loizo and Loizo was watching and was watching Loizo and was watching Loizo and was watching Loizo and was watching Loizo. Yeah. But, the, but, but they knew he was the danger man. Do you see how they were knocking him off the ball? I mean, we, we could have had a penalty in the in the second yeah. half. And actually, he, he yeah. took a dive in the first half, to be honest. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I don't want those penalties, <laughs> definitely. But, but the second half one was definitely where he was sandwiched. Absolutely sandwiched. Yeah. But, you know, he's he's a he's a quality player. We've been saying this for, for God knows how long. I mean, that, that goal against Ajax away for uh, Ayel, sorry, last season was my favourite, where he just dropped the shoulder. And he, he yeah. again... It, when you see players like him, Johnny is Gagul, Humbo, Bano, I mean, these players, it reminds me of the class of 92 at Man United. Mm, Do you know what I mean? Yeah. All these yeah. quality players coming through at exactly the same time. And that's very rare, but they have something about them. It's, I'm not bigging them up because I'm getting excited. You see the difference in quality between them and other players in the league. Same nationality, same age. You see the difference. I don't know whether it's because they've just got a god, they've got a, a gift from God, or they just work their asses. It's both. They work their asses it's off. Time, and timing as well. Person who trusts yep. them, a team, the experienced players we have. It's it's a lot of things. Refile. There, there are many talents in Cyprus, but it's just the opportunity you have, and uh, the timing. Berg. If it was anyone else, I seriously doubt after the Ramna and Dundo I can agree. But no. Nah. Okay, I think I think we should try and wrap it up so we don't repeat the same thing. Yeah, we've got two more minutes. We've got two more minutes. What else can we add in two more minutes? Shall we just do our socials and all that? Uh, okay. All right, go on, Roy. You do your, you do it. Yeah. Ladies first. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm finally going to bite. <laughs> As a huendo DJ STS Mike Hoto, Levendi Mudamedo, Levishanondo, Dimetron, Don Gangarol, Dimetros, O Dimetros, Avis Dimetros, Refilen, Avis Dimetros, Dime, Dime, Endax, Adona Colutis, Deja, Benado, Thorite, Optos, Pendele, Veson, No D, Mapo Chastel, and last but not least, Moa, yeah, beautiful. There you go, that's it for another episode. Of no Absolutely. chof there's live. Hope you guys have enjoyed it. As I keep saying, if you like this, hit that like button, subscribe, leave a comment, tell your nunna that Omonia are this close to the Europa League group stage for a second year and about. <laughs> Roy, wrap it up, baby. You can say that. You can say that. Yeah.